Summer Lookbook 2024, a classic spring summer haul with Goelia. Now, if you, like me, are more than ready for that sunshine to arrive, but perhaps you're looking for some new outfit ideas of what to wear and how to style those pieces to make them feel a little bit more up to date this spring summer, then today's video should help. I'm going to be sharing what's new in my wardrobe this season from a beautiful selection I chose at Goelia. Everything I've picked is made from really beautiful fabrics like silk and tensile. They all have a really timeless style, which lots of us love. And as a happy bonus, they all come with an extra 10% off for all my subscribers if you use my discount code and link provided below. So without further ado, let me show you what I chose. So a good place to start would be with this beautiful white dress that I'm wearing and one that I actually immediately fell in love with when I saw it online. So as you can see, this is a very classic white embroidered summer dress. And in all honesty, I don't think I really need to say, but the beauty of this one really is in the detail. So starting from the ground up, it's been made from a really sustainable fabric called Lyocell. Now Lyocell is actually made from wood pulp. So a really, really good one for being as eco-friendly as possible. So I don't know if you can see here in this footage, but the fabric's got a very very slight silk-like sheen to it. And on top of that, look, it feels really beautiful to wear and it washes brilliant in the machine as well. So definitely one of my favorites. Then of course, the really striking thing about this particular summer dress is that beautiful embroidery detail. And then these little flowers that are just stitched on all over the skirt portion. It is of course, as you can see, a very pretty, pretty dress, but this is definitely the sort of thing that I personally love to wear throughout spring, summer, ideally on a warm and sunny beach somewhere. But equally, I could imagine wearing this down to London if I've got some meetings or an event to go to. It would definitely tick a few Few different boxes for me. Now the amazing thing about this particular dress, on top of the fact that you've used one of my favorite sustainable fabrics, and I love that intricate detailing, but the icing on the cake would be it retails at just under a hundred pounds. And this is what Goelia are really, really good at doing, creating those really high quality classic pieces for your capsule wardrobe, but importantly, without letting their prices get too silly in the process. Next up in this classic spring summer haul to a pair of shorts styled with an everyday tank. Now I had a hard job choosing with these ones actually because I wanted them in both the white and the black. But in the end, I decided to go for black as I knew that would mix and match really nicely with lots of my white pretty tops that I've got, but also lots of those lovely brown tones that I like to wear. So as you've seen in this footage, these are fairly high-waisted. They've got a really nice A-line shape, which with the two together, I find really flattering. I think it sits at a much nicer point on my leg than anything too short short. I like that Goelli have kept the waistband pretty wide and also a nice touch is that they actually come with this belt too. That just helps really cinch it in at the waistband but it is also detachable so you can mix and match that perhaps with an element of tan or something taut depending on what you're pairing them with. You've got some nice deep pockets there but then from a tailoring point of view I love these pleats coming down the front section here. I think that's a really nice point of difference and it's actually quite hard to find a really nice pair of tailored shorts actually. So this is actually something I've been looking for a while to add into my wardrobe but hadn't come across it until now. Now I often forget to tell you my sizes so I'm going to really try and remember but I've gone true to size with the shorts with my usual size 28 and then in the tank top I actually decided to size up to a medium and it's a really nice fit actually I like how it's scooping quite wide here. I'm not keen on tank tops where they scoop too low and you just end up getting that bulge there so that would be an important detail for me that I look out for with my tank tops. I also really like the fabric they've used. I mean it is obviously just a basic staple piece for your wardrobe. But again, they've made it with a blend of cotton and lyocell. So you've got that lovely silky feel against your skin. It's going to wash really well. And of course, on top of that, it's a lot more sustainable too. So again, overall, a really classic and timeless outfit that could be very easily adapted to work for lots of different occasions, actually. For the office, I would probably just add a blazer over the top. And actually, because of this tailored A-line shape on the shorts, I think this pair, as opposed to lots of other shorts I see, these would actually work really nicely with a little heel as well. Next in this summer 2024 lookbook to a very pretty feeling pink on pink outfit idea. I love pastel shades. I feel really, really nice wearing them. Plus I think it's a very easy way to make your outfits feel a lot more effortless and very put together and elegant. So when I spotted these two pieces, I knew they were very much my own personal style. So let's start with this stunning blush pink top that I'm wearing. Now, first of all, I think the color is beautiful. I think they've got that spot on. And then of course the fabric composition is just absolutely gorgeous 
gorgeous, having been made from 100% mulberry silk. Yet again, Goelia's quality really surpasses my expectation of when I saw this online on their website. And then when I see it and feel it in real life, I'm always really, really impressed. So this particular mulberry silk is more matte rather than shiny. So the sleeves are long, obviously, as you can see, and they've got a little bit of a balloon shape to them. You've got a V at the front here, obviously, a little bit of frill detailing around the collar. And then when you wear it out, it probably sits about here. So definitely enough fabric for you to be able to play with, either if you want to wear it out and loose, or indeed tucking it in and it's it's not going to ride out when you lift your arms up. One little touch which I thought was really really pretty is these little flower petals that they've added in the 100% mulberry silk to the ties here and then they've just put these little gold details sprinkled all over them. So I have to say I absolutely love the fit of these trousers. They're not too tight, they're not too big, we've not gone oversized, they just fit me really really nicely. So these have been made from a summer weight wool but in all honesty from the feel I would have guessed they were viscose or tensile or something similar. It doesn't actually feel like wool and it certainly feels light enough for when we get that warmer weather. Like a lot of Goelia's pieces, they've done this wider waistband, which I'm very grateful for. And you've got the belt hooks here as well. Now I haven't added a belt with this outfit idea, as you'll have seen, because I wanted to keep it really tonal with the pink. However, for another time, I thought a really nice color combination would be to add just a sprinkle of tan. If I just hold up those two pieces, as you can see, that tan actually works really nicely against the pink. So a few different outfit ideas you could mix and match with, but just two really beautiful pieces again that I'm very excited to have in my wardrobe. Now, one of the big fashion trends this spring summer, as we know, is of course pastel blue. So I thought what better way to add a hint of that lovely colour than with a very pretty summer dress. Now, this one, as you can see, is just incredibly elegant and just such a beautiful colour. But the icing on the cake yet again is that it's been made from mulberry silk. Now, hopefully you agree. I think this is just such an elegant and incredibly timeless dress. I feel lovely wearing it, actually. However, saying that, if I had my time again, I think I would probably advise sizing up once. It feels like it's pulling just a little bit at the sleeves there and perhaps that the waistband could do with just being a little bit lower. For me personally, I should add here, I do like my clothes, particularly dresses, to feel a little bit more loose. But if, however, you prefer things fitting quite neat and tight, then I would say go true to size. So as you can see, it's got quite a classic shirt style collar. Then you've got these little cap sleeves, a little bit of pleat detailing coming down the chest portion here. This lovely big waistband really nipping me in and then those very gentle and pretty subtle pleats falling down into the skirt portion. Now very shirt dress like it's got those buttons running all the way down and obviously if you wanted to you could undo a couple have a little bit more leg showing if you prefer but personally for me I like it styled just the way it is keeping it very simple and minimal and hopefully you agree elegant as a result. Don't forget to let me know actually in the comments below which is your favorite outfit as we go along. And one more quick thing while I'm thinking about it if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would be very very grateful if you'd like to do so. I've added a link so you may in the description box below. Now if you liked the shape of that blue dress I showed you before but you're not keen on that shade of baby blue then this dress is very similar but as you can see it's done in a deep navy instead. And now having tried it on I think I might actually prefer this one even more than the last one. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Now it's been made from exactly the same fabric so I think it was 91% silk and then the rest is elastin. So you've got that same feel and a little bit of stretch going on. However this one maybe because it hasn't got that waistband detail just feels a little bit more loose, a bit more comfortable, and probably me a little bit more in my happy space. Plus, I really like the addition of the belt that comes with it, actually. I think that's a nice touch because it just reminds me of those lovely, pretty dresses from the 50s where they're really nipped in at the waist. But equally, on top of that, you've got the option to take it off and wear it loose, or indeed you can mix in a different belt that you've already got to add a different colour and texture into the mix as well. So it's got that classic collar again. You have got a little bit of sleeve coming over, it's not quite as much as the baby blue one, but certainly enough to make me feel comfortable. You've got the darts coming down to the chest here, those same buttons going all the way down to the bottom, and then that lovely full skirt portion. I love the way it feels. I just want to swish about in it. It's so comfortable and quite decadent to wear silk pieces, but equally very lovely to know that they're not going to break the bank either. So don't forget to let me know, do you prefer the pastel blue or the dark navy blue? Which one do you think I should take away on my holes with me? 
Now, I, as you know, am ever a fan of stripes in summer or all year, actually. But this is something Goelia do really, really well time and time again. So I've got a couple of different options to show you. Starting with this really lovely striped cardigan in a crew and black stripes. Now, this has actually got a really interesting mix of lyocell cotton and wool, and I think a tiny bit of stretch. So that's the first point of difference that really caught my eye. The second thing about this cardigan, which I think gives it that extra special finishing touch, is this lovely texture it's got to it. It almost looks like um, like a waffle moss stitch almost that you would see in wintertime on knits, but obviously done in a spring summer version. I also really like the length just hitting my hip bone. Obviously, as you saw, you've got long sleeves, which is a nice option for cooler days. But then when possible, I do like to shimmy them up to my elbow. And I do really, really like the vintage inspired buttons that they've used. As you can see, I'll give you a little close up, but they've got a pearl in the center and then a dulled silver all the way around the edges with those little studded details. Now on those warmer days, which we're going to have an awful lot of this year, you could of course just get away with wearing the t-shirt on its own. And this for me is a perfect example of a really elevated staple wardrobe essential piece made to perfection. They could have very easily just made a 100% cotton striped top for instance. However, they've gone that extra mile with so many little elements with this top that for me makes it absolutely stand out above the rest. So of course, first of all, fabric composition, it's been made from a knitted lyocells. It feels a little bit like a knitted linen, maybe with a hint of viscose in there. It's got that kind of feel. I like that the stripes are quite wide. That's bizarrely something that's quite hard to find. You often find the really thin stripes. But the detail that really stands out for me the most would be this lovely trim that you've got around the neckline here and then on the hems as well. It's like a, a rickrack stitch almost. I've seen it a lot in swimwear recently, bizarrely. But I think it really catches the eye and just elevates what is a simple t-shirt into being something so much more interesting. So it's all about finding those little points of interest when you're shopping next or you're having a look online. Generally, when a brand is going above and beyond with all those little elements, it's worth the investment because it really shows in your outfit ideas. Next up in my summer haul to a little bit of a Parisian vibe with this lovely little black dress. Now I know a lot of women like to wear lots of colours throughout summer and I do too, but I do still find it handy to have a couple of pieces in black in my wardrobe, particularly when they've got short sleeves and they're shorter obviously in length. Now obviously you could wear this dress out for the evening and style it with a pair of heels, but I also thought how lovely it would be as a dress for work. Certainly if your office is somewhere where you've got to be a little bit smarter and perhaps wear a suit, this is absolutely the sort of thing that could work for the office as well because it feels elevated and very elegant and suit-like but equally it's not going to feel too hot and stuffy as it gets warm outside. So I can see this one for lots of different occasions as well. So as you can see it's a very tailored quite French looking little black dress. Now although it does look like I'm wearing a little jacket and a skirt these are actually connected together. It's one piece which I really like from an ease factor that it's one piece and you're good to go and you don't have to think any more about it. I love the little detail of the pockets here and then just for a little bit of embellishment you've got those gold textured buttons running all the way down the front. I did undo that last button so I wanted to see a little bit more of my leg and then indeed make it float out a little bit more in that a-line shape. And before I forget I went for this one in the small and I would say there's lots of room in there I mean I could probably have gone down to the extra small but I think this is the way it's meant to fit a little bit straighter a little bit looser and then going out into that a-line shape on the skirt portion. To something a little bit different now and a shade that's new for my wardrobe for spring summer 2024 with this lovely pastel green. So as you can see, this is a co-ord suit set made from 100% mulberry silk and comprising of a blazer and tailored trousers. I've said it before, co-ords are a brilliant piece for your capsule wardrobe because you can then mix and match them in so many different ways. For instance, I would absolutely wear this blazer and just with a t-shirt underneath and styled with my jeans. Or indeed, these trousers are so ridiculously comfy. I would wear them with maybe a camisole and my sandals for a warm summer's day as much as I would on a colder day and pair them with my trainers and maybe a cotton knit over the top. Essentially the point is a cohort are really really handy for your wardrobe. Now I think the joy of a suit like this although it feels really decadent obviously because of the way that it drapes and the shape that they've created particularly with the trousers actually being really really relaxed it gives that overall feeling of 
being very effortless. I say that word a lot, but I suppose it's what I always aspire to be in my style. I, I love beautiful fabrics and I love to get dressed up, but I don't ever want it to look like I've tried too hard, even if that outfit is really well thought through. On the flip side, I like to look elegant and I like my pieces to feel pretty timeless so that I know they're going to last me for a really long time. So when I find pieces like this that are luxurious, but still really understated in their shapes and the way that they drape, I know it's going to be a good addition for my own wardrobe. Now, as you know, I don't wear an awful lot of skirts. So when I find one that I really like, you know it's a good one. Case in point would be this beautiful 100% mulberry silk one. Now, this particular mulberry silk has got a cloud-like texture. I don't know if you saw my previous Goelia haul that I did a couple of months ago, and I got a pair of trousers in this and a top as well, actually. And it's a really beautiful fabric that's got a slightly different texture and a different look to it as well, which I think just makes it stand out even more. So aside from that beautiful fabric, what I really, really love about this skirt is the length. I would say this is coming up longer than a typical midi length skirt and for me I would say that's the perfect length. Now one thing to know I did size down to a UK 8 in this particular skirt so that it fit really nice and snug on the waistband. Now it has got elastic at the back here as you can see so there is still a bit of room and I can still get my thumb around that waistband but it is nipping in really nicely and giving that effect that I wanted. Now I've taken the black top off that I was wearing in this footage because I could couldn't quite clip the microphone to it. it's a little bit higher neck but this again is a prime example of finding those staple capsule wardrobe pieces for spring summer but doing it in a very elevated fashion so rather than being in cotton like we would often see across the high street this one has been made from a really fine weight so perfect for spring summer knitted merino yarn which i think is a beautiful knit to wear for this season and merino is really breathable too so it wicks away the moisture keeps you nice and cool in summer keeps you warm in winter it's a really lovely yarn I like the little pocket detail here and it's not too large or overpowering and another nice finishing touch would be the accrued trims running around the neckline the sleeves and of course the hem as well which you couldn't see before in that footage because I'd had it tucked in and actually as I've put this striped top on with the black skirt I realized that I really like that as well I think that actually even wearing it out is a lovely combination that absolutely works and maybe would look even nicer just dressing it down with a pair of trainers so I've got one more outfit idea for this spring summer haul with Goelia so let me get changed and see what you think. Actually, I tell a lie, I've got two more lovely tops to show you, starting with this very French feeling Bardot top. Now I've been seeing Bardot tops around on social media and in stores an awful lot recently. It's like they've had a bit of a resurgence and I do really like the shape. So I thought I would dip my toe in this particular fashion trend again, but do it very much true to my own personal style with those navy and white stripes. Now I actually kept the skirt on again for this outfit idea as I thought that went perfectly and that would probably be how I would style it together. Or on colder days, I quite like the juxtaposition of something quite glamorous feeling, which I think the Bardo tops are, dressed down with a pair of jeans and maybe just some Mary Jane belly flats on your feet. That's been made from cotton, and as you can see, if I just give it a pull, there's a fair amount of stretch in there, and I've just gone true to size with a UK 10. I don't think there's anybody out there who would say Bardo tops are the easiest thing to wear because you feel like you're constantly shimming it back up on your shoulder. However, I do think Think they're worth that little bit of hassle because they look so incredibly elegant and they give you that really lovely hourglass shape really nipping you in at the waist and then of course seeing a woman's collarbone I think is particularly flattering as well and what better piece for a timeless elegant summer wardrobe than a classic white shirt and even better one with those subtle points of difference that really makes it stand out above the rest it's quite a boxy shape which I think when you gather it in is making this lovely vo voluminous voluminous <laughs> voluminous shape on my top half I really like that the cotton they've used as well feels really lovely almost like there's a little bit of viscose in there it feels a bit more silky than usual and I love these elbow length sleeves I mean as you can see they're slightly balloon shape but with that really nice hem that just gathers in and that just exaggerates that lovely puffball even more. Obviously you've got a classic collar at the neckline and then coming down into a V and although I'm starting it here with the tailored shorts I can already just looking at my rail 
think of about 10 different outfit ideas that I would wear this with. I don't know about you, but I think that was one beautiful spring summer haul with Goelia. So many beautiful pieces. They actually really surpassed my expectations. I love their quality, their commitment to being as sustainable as possible with the different fabrics they're using. And on top of all of that, they managed to keep their pieces within the realm of being affordable, despite the fact that lots of them are made from beautiful fabrics like silk, etc. So based on my own experience, I would definitely recommend having a look at the new spring summer collection at Goelia at the end of this video. I've added a link to everything I've styled today in the description box below, so you can find all those different outfit ideas there. Plus, if you do decide to shop, I've got that extra 10% off discount code for you. Again, that's in the description box. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments section. And don't forget, if you're new here, but you've enjoyed this video, it would be really lovely if you'd like to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you again on Sunday. Take care.